<laughs> Happy New Year, you Tauruses. All right, Tauruses, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This month is the month of January 2020. Okay, so Tauruses, let's see what is coming up. This is the month, five weeks in this month. Um, and uh, this one has the energy vibration from water energy, the energy of the hermit. Okay, so with that saying, Taurus says, with these five weeks, let's see what is coming up. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and to become a member because that's how you can get the energy vibration, the extended of these readings. Uh, as you become a member, you can become an extended member where you get all the monthly readings and the medium is where you get everything and you can connect with me one up and one and the super is like you receive all the gears the quarters so let's see what's coming up for you Tauruses in this month <clears throat> wow Tauruses hit me okay Tauruses success okay the energy of the Sun this is good so if you Tauruses wasn't feeling well Whatever issues you Tauruses was going through, I see you're going to be successfully coming in this year, Taurus. Okay. Oh, wow. All righty, Tauruses, you set the gameplay. All right, Tauruses, this is good. This is wonderful. So, Tauruses, I see a success with your materialistic stability. I see that if you have a business, you're going to be realizing how good you have done the last couple of years in the third week you have inner strength finding inner strength to deal with an issue in a situation so first two weeks are very good um but the third week we see you um you know pushing through and having to deal with an issue with a corporation institute or organization so be aware of that okay the fifth week i see a judgment call is coming out in the fifth week so be aware of this also this is the energy of water there's judgment call with a corporation organization i think that you could be blowing the whistle on a corporation institute say in um the um the last week so um that is coming up for you tauruses so this is good and positive so what we're seeing is that um the first week, second week, and the third week is going to be, especially the third week, Taurus, is, is going to be your week. So this is wonderful to know. So whatever is transpiring, first week, second week, and the third week of January is going to be the week for you, Taurus. Remember to go check out the general um, energies of the, the month of January. And please um, subscribe and become a member so that you can have all what is coming in because this year is different. So in the first week, going in the second week, I see you ladies are going to be very successful. You ladies are going to be realizing that you have successfully overcome a situation. So ladies, 45 years and older, you are going to be the successor of the first week going in the second week. So ladies, 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 congratulations. As we look in uh, the second week, going in the third week, we see you defeat in a situation um, so whatever the energy is, I see you guys defeating a situation, a situation, a deceptive situation that has transpired. And then I see in the, the third week, you're standing your ground. In the fourth week, I see the energy of you um, taking a break from an issue and a situation because you have defeated a situation that was transpiring. And this situation, it could be a legal issue for some of you, but some of you could have been dealing with an issue with an Aquarius that, that has done some deceptiveness. I see a situation with your business. Um, so there could be information that is coming um, in about your business when it comes in um, the fourth week going in the fifth week. So there could be issues about your business that is coming in. But it could also be that you're dealing with situation on the work floor and that sort of a thing. And that is going to be coming up uh, in the fourth week because it has to do with corporation institutes so it is your week so don't um be afraid in the fourth week it's your week now as we look at the second week we see that some of you ladies are dealing with situations which has to do with your materialistic position okay abundance is going to be coming in for you um especially you ladies 45 years and older and you ladies are standing ground and protecting something 
that is yours okay because I see some deceptive play that was trying to transpire but you're standing and ending that deceptive play I see changes coming in the two of Pentacles changes is definitely coming in because I see that some of you are going to be making a decision when it comes on in the third week and the decision has to do with a deceptive play that has to do with an Aquarius and a Libra a deceptive play that has to do with a, a, an Aquarius and a Libran, and I see that the truth could be coming out in the third week. Now, when we look at the Eight of Pentacles, would work for some of you. Um, some of you are having some problem in the institutes your organization would work for some of you, and I see you're going to be making a decision whether or not you go forward with a corporation institute. She, or um, you're going to be changing your job, okay? Because it's as if you went back to work and like things have changed up without you even knowing. The Four of Cups is in the reverse. So whatever the issue and the situation is, you have defeated someone that was doing some uh, deceptiveness. Now, this could be an, a Sagittarius and you are now making a decision, okay? So... You have ended a situation with a Sagittarius and a Capricorn and you are making decisions and, and healing a situation that has transpired. Now I see you have the power because you have the financial stability and the vocative that you need and you have the power and you're standing up and you're rebuilding. Okay, you're standing up and you're going to be rebuilding. So the energy of the four, the four of cups and the energy of the four that is coming up, you have a strong foundation in the month of January, Taurus. So it doesn't really matter what is happening, what is transpiring. You have a strong foundation. I see that this month is bringing in changes that is going to be coming up. And I see abundance also coming in for you, Tauruses. So the name of the game, abundance is what is here for you, Tauruses, in this month. That is what changes in your abundance is coming up for you, Tauruses, in this month. So strong foundation with your um, abundance. You're going to be celebrating coming out of this month. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous for you, Tauruses. Wonderful energy because your financial stability and your stability is just really strong. <clears throat> it's just really strong. So whatever that is transpiring for you Tauruses that has to do with your financial stability <clears throat> this is absolutely strong I see you had issues dealing with Librans and Aquarians and I see you had to find inner strength in the third week but you make changes and with these changes that you make it's going to bring, bring in um, a strong foundation whoever has a business I see you're making changes in your business or you're about to make some changes in your business that is going to be coming up. I see you're going to be receiving information, especially people who have their business. You're going to be receiving some information. We're going to be looking whether or not that information is good or bad. That is going to be coming up in the fifth week. People at work, I see changes is coming up where you're going to be trying to find balance. So let's look at the first week going into the second week. Some of you are dealing with an issue with a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. This could be a child, especially you women who have children who are Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion between the age of 18 and 45. I see you overcome a situation with that. And I see this child or this person could be your partner returning to you, offering you love. Here we are, the energy of the lovers. I see that there was a deceptive situation that was transpiring. It could be with your partner, but it could be also have to do with outside forces. It could be with family member and you have defeated the situation. So some of you could have been dealing with a cancer um, and it could be a young um, a cancer man or woman between the age of 18 and 45 I see you defeat defeat the situation that was going on again the energy of the two of Pentacles a lot of people are having the number two energy coming up the energy of the two of Pentacles where I see in the third week going in the fourth week you're going to be making some decisions decisions that has to do with you your company um, are you and legal issues but it could be you and your company and you and legal issues okay and i see you trying to balance out whatever is happening again success is going to be yours you're going to be celebrating 
whatever the news that is coming in about your project your business it is positive it is news of success and a positive alignment of energy so some whoo, good news is going to be coming in for you Taurus is about your business as we look another energy of the Sun is coming out for you Taurus a really wonderful situation that is transpiring especially for you ladies 45 years and older your problem issues is going to be over you are a success or you're going to be successful so if you were dealing also with the issues that has to do with an another person a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn I see you successfully overcoming this issue where your burdens is going to be over the truth is coming out about a Gemini a Libra and an Aquarius the truth is coming out about a Gemini a Libra and an Aquarius how they are connected and whatever has to inspire whether this was on the work floor or however this played in your life I see the truth is coming out and whatever the secrets these people hold is going to be coming up the energy of the eye princess is here I see um, the eye princess brings out true to deceptiveness that has been happening so the positive energy is coming out for people who have their own business but for people who are working for other people is that you're going to be start thinking um, you know if, if, if this is where I need to be okay I see a lot of you protecting yourself from issues and situation I see your burdens is coming down you're protecting yourself but you're also protecting your um, financial stabilities okay you're also protecting your materialistic world you're making sure um, that you are making the right decisions whenever it comes up to that I see some of you are going to be connecting with a Capricorn some of you could be wanting to connect with a Capricorn in a relationship this possibility does exist I see some of you are going to be meeting a Capricorn on the work floor I see some of you could be a meeting new love on the work floor I see some of you could be also connecting with a cancer on the work floor and it's not one of the best thing but it's your life you gotta live your life but I see success is coming out over a Pisces cancer or a scorpion woman so whoever this Pisces cancer or scorpion woman is I see you're successfully overcoming a situation for some of you this lady is a cancer um, for some of you it is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion now whoever this lady is and whatever this lady has done I see you're overcoming this deceptiveness that was at play whatever the issue is is this your mom is this um is this your mom is this someone who you have known in a past life whatever is transpiring and however this lady is coming up in your life you're definitely overcoming a deceptive play that this woman has played okay and it is a cancer so some of you it could be your partner because this is coming up as your partner but it could be someone who you have been doing business with or in business okay because it is that some of you Tauruses are really dealing yeah there's definitely love on the work floor some of you Tauruses are going to be connecting with people on the work floor there is definitely love that is coming up on the work floor some of you could be dealing with kids that is here and I see a healing between you and your child is going to be coming in okay whatever that has been transpired I see abundance I see stability you're bringing back financial stability but also emotional stability might be in the rares where you are dealing with some emotional situations so it could be emotional situation to deal with your love life it could be with kids it could be with family issues not really but it's more love life and situation to deal with kids now abundance and success so it's all about abundance and success that is coming out it's all about positive energies that is coming out in the month of January for you guys okay so let's see what is happening with this young Pisces cancer or scorpion man which is the lover or a husband I see you're deciding to make some changes um, uh, 
if you are a mother I see your child is returning and offering you an apology I see that your child realized what has transpired and is coming back this is a karmatic situation so this is definitely dealing with a child for some of you whatever you're going through health issues I see some of you could end up in the hospital or your partner is in the hospital it is going to be good I see some emotional situations some of you are going to be finding out something I see emotion but this is positive emotion it's going to be about your work or if you could be finding out something uh, about your health or that sort of a thing but I see changes is going to be coming up and it's uh, you're going to be feeling much better as you go through the month okay so you might find out something about your health or so in this month but it's going to be okay because I'm seeing you feeling better coming out because you might be receiving message um, that is not what you thought and that is just something that was simply that can be simply ill or dealt with okay so that is coming up now oh three times the Sun okay I got nothing else to say you Taurus is three time the Sun Taurus is so whatever issues burdens that you were carrying that was created by a Sagittarius I see you celebrating over this person so let's say a Sagittarius had created some issue situation I see you standing your ground and you're releasing this burden and you're coming out so this is really looking good I see positive communication is coming at you some of you could be meeting someone on the work floor this is going to be turning in a love relationship it is a Capricorn okay so some of you Tauruses could be want to connect with a Tor a Capricorn I see that this is someone who you really connect with it can be on the work floor or it could be someone who cross parts with you and is in your life okay I see you are celebrating over an issue with a Pisces a cancer woman and her husband you are celebrating overcoming a situation with a Pisces a cancer woman and her husband so whatever these people have done to you a cancer woman and her husband whatever as she or the husband has done to you guys I see you definitely coming out of this situation and you're standing strong in a very very positive way so uh, yeah it can be a cancer man that some of you were dealing with issues and you're celebrating coming out of this it can be a cancer woman whatever is transpiring Taurus says it's, it's a huge it's a month of success for you Taurus says okay so you have three times the three of cups is success is overcoming issues and situations some of you could have been dealing with cancer people that is coming up I see you successful overcoming your business is a success for some of you um, when we look at the work situation I see some of you could be meeting a, a Capricorn on the work floor I see this is going to be a, a positive connection between you two it's like go for it because it's gonna be perfect okay wow a uh, stability emotional stability is a little bit off but financial wise you're balancing up the dragonfly is here transformation magic and illumination and illusion okay so the dragonfly this is what i always say to you guys call upon the dragonfly um to clear the energy in your house and around you in your cars um just call upon the dragonfly because they clear every every negative energies um, that is on and on around you okay so the dragonfly is here it's really a transition because three times the Sun is here now we see ask God to make you a healer to give you more sensitivity you will be surprised by how easy it comes so ask God to be to help you to be a healer um, whoever you are and especially for people who are dealing and doing healing work this um, this month of January is going to be absolutely brilliant it's going to be successful it's going to be very successful and overcoming issues and you are on the right part starting this year you Tauruses so congratulations okay so Tauruses I want to say thank you so much please enjoy your month 
please share and become a member of this channel because as you share and become a member of this channel what it does is that you can have one and one with me you can connect with us uh, on a live on fridays uh, and you can align with the energies you can ask 2020 question you can ask me a question i love you taurus sis and i want to say namaste until next time mm -hmm.